What's up guys, War here, and today we're gonna go over the best T16 farming build in Diablo 3 for season 27. That's right, it's the UE Demon Hunter, AKA the T16 Blaster. Let's get right into it. Okay, so season 27 just started guys. We got a couple videos out already, but we've only been, been able to play for two days. We're on day three right now. We, you can see we're pretty low Paragon. This is the best T16 build in all of season 27 in my opinion guys so you're going to be using the ue hollow set uh along with the yeah yeah angelic crucible strafe power which allows you to just shoot your last um hatred spender which is going to be multi-shot and we are literally just going to fly around the map and destroy everything so you guys know how we do our videos but we're going to be a little bit more in depth because i noticed some things that i'm missing in some of my videos so let's get in it let's go do a t16 and just ball out and show you guys how insane the build is this is going to be the final build um for this like with all updates i know we had some in the ptr from playing all like that boom i think we just got an angelic crucible fantastic but this is going to be the final update for the t16 build we're going to have the push and speed build coming soon guys we're going to do both of those but as you guys can see, the build just absolutely destroys it. And I'm low Paragon, guys. I'm not even I'm not even 700 Paragon. And we are just killing everything on the map. It's absolutely crazy for farming T16 Rifts like we're doing now and T16 Bounties. You just destroy everything. And I know the build's going to be a little bit different than like the traditional like t16 builds with certain rings but we'll get into that as soon as we get into the gear guys but look at this the build is so easy to play all you do is hit multi-shot start your preparation and then all you do is just hold down straight that's it that's all you have to do every five seconds you're gonna want to just you know spam your elusive or evasive fire i should say but besides that you are good to go and with the gear that we have guys we're going to be pretty much invincible now the reason that you see me struggle sometimes with the um, with some of the champions and the elites here is because of my low paragon we're just we're just not strong enough yet to just kind of one shot those guys but besides that you're killing everything on the map and the floor before you even see it which is just nuts. I wish we would got like an open, you know, like floor concept instead of being in here. So you guys can really see how nutty this build is. But look at this. We rack up so many resources. It's crazy. In a matter of minutes too, guys. Here we go. This is nice. Here we go. Right out here in the open. You can see with some of the elites, it's just, we're not strong enough to one shot them yet, but that's okay. Because we destroy absolutely everything else right now. This build, it's a lazy build. This is for all you guys that are just kind of hanging out and grinding through stuff. No big deal. The Rift Guardians can be a little bit of a challenge in some cases. But once you start racking up enough Paragon, you're, you'll be just fine. Look at that. Easy peasy. Dead. No problem whatsoever. Grab all the resources. I guess kill this elite since they're stuck on me for whatever reason. All right, and that's it. Let's go back to town and check out the gear. Super easy. Super easy, guys. All right, let's finish this real fast. All right. So, let's check out the build. Everything you guys are going to need. You need the Unhollow Essence set. You're going to go all six pieces. Pretty easy, pretty standard. Everything is done from multi-shot, and because we're strafing and using multi-shot, we're getting everything through that. Okay, now, our belt, we got gold wrap, because we're going to pair it with our follower that has Avarice Band. And then Avarice Band and gold wrap make you virtually impossible. Your pickup radius is going to be huge, and then you're going to be picking up uh, gold non-stop. That combined with the boon of the hoarder, and you're going to be invincible. So then we have the Warzerit Chain Arm Guards for just more speed. And then in our rings, and amulet. I went with Squirts and the Focus and Restraint just for more damage. That's all. This build is already super good, but the more damage is even better. 
uh, our legendary rings are going to be, or our legendary gems are going to be Boon of the Hoarder, uh, Taeguk, and uh, Zaya's Stone of Vengeance. Pretty standard, I think, for most T16 builds, but these work really, really well on the multi shot build. And then, of course, you're going to need Dead Man's Legacy. This hits enemies below 60% health twice, which is crazy. And then Yang's Recurve. The build does not work without Yang's Recurve. Okay. We have multi shot attacks 50% faster and deals increased damage. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, uh, for the Sanctified uh, Power, the Angelic Crucible, you can put it on whichever thing is the hardest to get, I would say. So, like when I first got my Yang's, I just popped it on there, got it, got the strafe ability, and I've kept it ever since. If you want to do Dead Man's Legacy for just the maximum stats, feel free. But I think Yang's Recurve is definitely the way to go. In the cube, we have Dawn because we want permanent uptime on uh, Vengeance always to help keep us alive. Prides Fall here. Your recess, a resource cost for, is reduced by 30% after not taking damage. You shouldn't be taking any damage whatsoever with this build, guys. You should just be flying around the map, killing everything. If you do get hit, it should be on a very rare occasion. But this will help with the reduced um, uh, resource cost, which allow you just to keep up all of your abilities all the time. And then, of course, Ring of Royal Grandeur because... Oh, actually, I need to change this. This needs to be swapped out, guys. I'm sorry. I'm a bad boy. That actually can be something else. Inside here, it could be anything. Um, preferably Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac. Or if you want to stay healthy uh, and just survive a little bit longer, you could do... Um, elusive ring but you know with the gold wrap and everything you should stay alive anyway so i'm gonna go with uh obsidian ring just for cooldown on everything especially vengeance uh so that's what i would recommend there my apologies i forgot to change that let's go ahead and save it okay into our skills and abilities we got evasive fire um focus for just uh hatred generation of course strafe drifting shadow for speed uh, displacement smoke screen for more invincibility and movement speed uh, preparation to give us more discipline back because this build relies on discipline the more discipline we have the more damage that we do right um, because everything is based on every point of discipline that we have so this is very important uh, of course multi-shot arsenal for just in crazy amount of fire damage and then dark heart vengeance for more survivability into our passives, we have Tactical Advantage for move speed, along with Hot Pursuit for move speed. Uh, ambush to deal even more damage to higher health enemies. And then Blood Vengeance for more hatred and hatred regeneration, which is fantastic for this build. All right, guys, we're going to get to the next part of the video that I typically don't do and I haven't done. I realize I haven't done, but I know some of you have commented what the exact stat priorities are. So what I'm going to do is I have a little cheat sheet here because I don't have everything on here that I would like perfectly. I haven't even changed some of these. So we're just going to leave this here. I'm going to go over everything that you need. So for the gloves, guys, you're going to want Dex, Crit, Crit, uh, Resource Cost Reduction. The shoulders, you're going to want Dex, Vitality, uh, Resource Cost, and Cooldown on both of those. The helmet, you're going to want Dex, Crit, Multi-Shot Damage, if you can get it. So no Vitality dex crit chance and multi-shot for the chest you're gonna want dex vitality all resistant and uh or armor works too for the belt you're gonna want dex vitality all resist and then life for the pants you're gonna want dex vit all resist the boots you're gonna want dex vitality all resist and then increase multi-shot damage which is fantastic uh, for the amulet you're gonna want fire skills crit crit and that's it for the bracers, for the arm guards, you're going to want fire skills, dex, vitality, crit chance. For the rings, you're going to want crit, crit. And then you can go with dex, but cooldown works as well. You're going to want crit, crit on both. Same thing or fire skill if you get it, if you're not using these rings. For the dead man's legacy, you want dexterity, attack speed, crit chance, resource cost reduction, or excuse me, cooldown, and then increase multi-shot damage. And then, of course, for your Sanctified Yang's Recurve, it should be perfect. If you want to get the damage changed, uh, if you want to re-roll it to fire damage, I definitely suggest doing that. So those are going to be the uh, stat priorities. I know I haven't really done those in videos, but I wanted to say those now. I had to use my cheat sheet from my D3 planner, but that's what I'm going to eventually get on the gear. So hopefully that guys helps you out. So that's going to be the build, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. 
The build is absolutely crazy. It's such a great T16 farm uh, you, to get all of your resources really, really fast. You zoom across the map and just deal crazy amounts of damage. I know I got to get my, my gems up here, but the build is absolutely insane for T16. And it, you farm so fast, especially in groups too, if you're doing bounties. So try this build out. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video make sure to drop a like if you are new here be sure to subscribe thank you guys so much for all the support and again guys i've been thinking about streaming diablo let me know if that's something you would like to see me do but as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace